What's up guys? With all of the new guards that have been added to the game, it is now time for another top 5 guard list. So these are the top 5 guards as of March of 2012. Originally I had in my head what I thought were the top 5 guards, and I decided to run it across my clan anyways, like in the, in the clan message, and the list is pretty solid. We talked about it for about a day and a half, and it's good. So let's get on with it. In fifth place we have Fire Lord. He is a new addition to the game. We just unlocked him a few days ago in the clan shop 15. He is the best candidate for the shield imprint. As you can see right here, he's ranked 60. He has over 800 hit points. So that means I can absorb over 400 points of damage. And that's ridiculous if you think about it. It's kind of like I have over 1,000 hit points, like 1,200 hit points. But not, it's not, not exactly, but that's a good way to think about it. Uh, because of his massive hit points, like he's he's best built as a tank. Um, he doesn't really have that much damage output, but that doesn't matter because he has so much hit points. At the end of the day, he's gonna win out on any of his fights. Really, the only way to beat him I can see is using like a, a water guard. But right now, there's no top tier water guards. They're all mid tier, and they just don't stack up well against the top tier guards. So they're not really used as well. So he's number five. And number four. In fourth place, we have Rexa. Rexa has always been a top guard. It's just hard to beat him. He is the best physical attacker in the game. It's hard to top that super punch right there. It's just too good. He is my, like, go-to guard. If I'm making a new team and I'm not really sure what, what to put in, Rexa is always a fine choice. He just doesn't have a weakness. Like I said, he's the best physical attacker in the game. You just can't go wrong with, with, with Rexa. He's really cheap too, you know, 20,000 credits in Clan Shop 5, really easy to get. You can outfit your whole army of Rexa. And one of the top teams is three Rexas, so that's something to keep in mind. In third place, we have Saint Skina. She is now the best speed guard in the game. She outclasses all of the all of the dark warriors like Outcast and Wicked, stuff like that. When you have 20% bonus in speed, that that's when you know you'll be really fast and to boot like what really pushes her over the top is the 15% bonus into M attack. So she's going to be really fast and she's going to hit hard too. And what really makes her broken is that her attacks are light and they're not resisted by anything. So you have a speed mage that's not going to be like, you know, stopped by anything. Really the only thing that can stop her is like a shield imprint. But other than that, she's going to run through pretty much every guard in the game because her attacks are just not resisted by anything and she hits really strong. So that's why she's number three. Second place, we have Izine, which is, who is still the best mage in the game, like bulk mage. As you can see right here, I have a bulk build with Izine. It's really strong. There's nothing to it. Just she or he or it, it's a bunny. I, I guess I'm just going to say it's an it. It has stacked stats. Like the stats are really, really high. The hit points are high and all the attacks are massive. So just it hits really hard, and you just can't go wrong with that zine. First place is no contest. It's Moo Man. I want to first give a shout out to Jabberwalk. He gave me an iTunes card, which I used for VIP, and that was able to let me grind Beast Plane so I can get this Moo Man. So thank you to him. Anyways, according to Rita, Moo Man has the highest base stats in the game. And when you combine that with, you know, it has a lot of hit points too. So that's when you know you're a beast. He hits for above average damage. He doesn't hit as hard as Rexa, but it has a lot more points than Rexa. So it's a lot more flexible. Uh, he doesn't really have a bad matchup. Really, the only way to beat it is if an Izine uses like three judgments and it's really strong. Or a Rexa uses three super punches and it's also really strong. Or it can be noobed up with the piercing imprint. That's an, that's probably the cheesiest way to beat Moo Man. But other than that, he doesn't really have a bad matchup. They really have to beat him by luck. And when you put a shield imprint on him, it's even harder to beat him. Uh, not really much to say. Just high hit points, high ba or the highest base stats in the game, and it hits for above average damage. That's that's pretty good. Also, the other uh, additions that are not in top five but still should be counted soul hunter if i were to rank soul hunter it'd probably be around six or seven it's still good oh uh in in clan fight 
I had a Moo Man up first, and I went up against a Soul Hunter, and the Soul Hunter was using Piercing, and it was nasty. So, you should probably watch out for the Soul Hunters with, with Piercing on them, because, like I said, they're pretty nasty. Uh, what else we got here? Um, Fire Guard is also probably in the top 10. It's used as a counter to a lot of the guards, like St. Jerusa or... Uh, it's mainly Izine. It's used as, as a counter for. So you should probably, like, especially in the tournament, I think he's going to be one of the best tech guards in the game because people are going to be using Izine. There's really no, no like, downside to using Izine. So Fire Guard is going to be a tech guard for that. So imagine seeing a Fire Guard or two sporadically in teams. And, um, yeah. Oh, Dark Image. That's another one that's I think is in top 10. It's not... It's not bad... Just, um, it's not like tremendously overpowered either. The way we use it is with speed, because you have four, L well, technically five if you include dark. So you have five different types of moves that you can hit with. And if you have speed, that it makes it very flexible for a speed guard. And plus the terror of dark dragon, that's also nice to have. Put in a team with like a Moo Man or a Rexa or something, it's pretty good. I'm uh, not really sure if there's much else to say. Um, oh. About the top five, we kind of had um, a discussion about it. Um, this isn't really in any order, but of course, Fire Guard is lower than, than Moo Man and stuff like that. But as far as Izine and Saint Skina go, they're two completely separate builds. Like, Saint Skina will always be speed, and Izine will always be, be bulk. There are some people who use speed Izine, that's not good at all because it just gets it gets pounded by the speed guards that are, you know. That that are, are like have the 15% bonus into speed or the 20% bonus into speed. It it just gets pounded by those guards. So I don't believe speed Izine is what people should use. But anyways, it's two different builds. One's a bulk and one's a speed. So it's kind of hard to decide which one could be ranked above another. So if anything, it'll go like Moo Man first and tied for second is uh, Izine and Saint Skina, and then fourth is Rexa, and then fifth is Fire Lord. So again, there are your top five guards. Stay tuned for more videos. I have like three gigs of Pocket Summoner videos just chilling on my laptop. And I'm going to upload them sporadically. I'm not going to upload them like three a day because if I upload three a day, they're not going to get any views at all. So I, I try to upload one every two days or one every three days, pretty much whenever I have time. So definitely stay tuned. Lots of great content coming out. And I will see you all next time. Take care. Hope you like the Mickey team.